Today we're going to be doing the ankle eval, and first on the ankle evaluation is past and present history. Past history asks them if they've had any surgeries on this ankle before, if they've had any other previous injuries, ask them if they've taken any medications, and then for present history, ask them what they're doing at the moment when they did hurt themselves. Um, ask them if they could pinpoint the pain, and ask them what the pain scale is on a scale of 1 to 10. Next, you're going to be ins inspecting their foot, looking for any type of swelling, any discoloration, deformity, uh, watching their gait cycle as they walk in, seeing if they're limping, if they're able to even put any pressure on it or walk. And then next is going to be the bony palpation. You're going to uh, palpate the shaft of the tibia and the fibula, looking for any type of fracture in either of those. Then you're going to palpate the lateral and the medial malleoli, looking for fracture in those and then the dome and the neck of the talus looking for fracture as well. And then when we move on to soft tissue now palpation, we're going to palpate the deltoid ligaments, the anterior deltoid ligament, the middle deltoid ligament, and the posterior deltoid ligament, as well as the um, lateral ligaments, which is the anterior talofibular ligament, the calcaneofibular ligament, and the posterior talofibular ligament. And those are all looking for sprain as well. And then you're going to palpate the lateral, uh, the anterior tibiofibular ligament, looking for sprain also on the dorsum side of the foot, and then the peroneal tendons, checking for any type of subluxation or tendonitis in those peroneal tendons. And then next we're going to move on to special tests. So for special tests, you're going to squeeze the, the leg, checking for any uh, tibiofibular fracture in both, and then the calcaneal bump test, looking for any uh, tibiofibular fracture as well. And then we have a stress test. So for the stress test, you have an inversion. For this stress test, you're going to have a, to isolate the anterior talofibular ligament. You're going to have the athlete in plantar flexion and then invert the foot. And that's the anterior talofibular ligament. And then neutral and then invert their foot. It's calcaneofibular ligament. And then in dorsiflexion, invert the foot is a posterior talofibular ligament. And do the same thing for eversion in plantar flexion, evert the foot, and that's going to be the anterior deltoid ligament. Have the foot neutral, evert the foot, that's going to be the middle deltoid ligament. And then dorsiflexion and evert the foot, that's going to be the posterior deltoid ligament. And then we have anterior drawer test going to pull up, and this is checking for the atia and the uh, anterior deltoid ligament, and then the opposite, now you're going to pull down, and this is checking for the posterior deltoid ligament and the posterior talofibular ligament, and then range of motion test is what we have next. So there's passive and active, I'll be demonstrating passive, active, passive range of motion. So we have ankle dorsiflexion, 20 degrees ankle plantar flexion, 50 degrees, ankle inversion, 5 degrees, ankle eversion, 5 degrees, and then we have neuromuscular uh, restrictive range of motion test, and then so you're going to have restrict them from coming down, have them push on the gas pedal, and that's going to use the gastrocnemius and the soleus, both the tibial nerve, and have them pull up against you. That's going to be the tibialis anterior for ankle dorsiflexion, and that is the deep peroneal nerve. And then for <coughs> inversion, you're going to have them pull out against you. That is going to be the tibialis posterior, and that's the tibial nerve. And then for eversion, have them pull in against you. That is going to be the um, peroneus longus and peroneus brevis, both the superficial nerve. And then next we have uh, um, neuromuscular test, or neurological testing, so we have motor. So L4 is going to be ankle dorsiflexion and ankle inversion. And then we have um, L5 is going to be toe extension, so extend your toes. And then S1 is going to be ankle eversion. And then S1 to S2 is going to be ankle plantar flexion. And then um, next we have sensory. So L4, L4 is the medial side of the foot, L5 dorsum side of the foot and the webbing between the toes. And um, S1 is going to be the lateral side of the foot. And then for neurological next, we have reflexes. So S1 is going to be 
Achilles tendon reflex. And then for blood flow test, we have dorsal pedal artery pulse, recapitalization, and then you bilaterally compare.